A mystery in Sterling Heights. Police investigating how an 18-year-old man died after two men were seen moving his body from one vehicle to another. It happened late last night in a CVS parking lot. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park is live in our newsroom now with the very latest for us. Jane? Well, Carolyn, Glenda, police tell us a woman called 911 after she saw two men transferring a body from their vehicle into another before fleeing the scene. After reporting the incident, she tried to follow the men. This happened shortly before midnight at the CVS pharmacy at Hall Road and Hayes. The woman told police she saw two white men dragging the body of another man out of their car, put it in the back seat of another vehicle, and then leave the parking lot. She followed the men southbound on Hayes before losing track of them. And when officers arrived at the CVS, they found the 18 year old man dead in the back seat of that vehicle. Early this morning, they located the two men who fled the scene and questioned them. And Chief Michael Reese is commending the woman who observed all of this. They stated that uh, this individual had a history of drug abuse. And they felt that he was conscious and breathing when they put him in the back seat of the vehicle. She took uh, the time and, and the courage to, to stay in that area, call 911, and then again follow, to attempt to follow that vehicle. It says a lot for her and her character. Investigators found no signs of trauma on the 18 year old's body. An autopsy is underway to determine exactly how he died. Results may take two to three weeks, and the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office will then decide whether any charges will be filed against the men who moved his body. Live in the newsroom, Jane Park, 7 Action News. Wow, that woman certainly was courageous. Thank you, Jane.